Hey guys, and welcome to God Eater Resurrection. Uh, we're playing the Japanese version in honor of our Golden Week 2017. Well, it started off as a stream, but now we're just uploading uh, videos. But anyway, continuing playing Japanese games during Golden Week. Alright, so I think we're going to play as a female. Um, so we got code name. I think we'll, this is the English. Code name is in the English, so we're going to name it Satomi. And then uh, in the real name, we'll do it in uh, Hiragana. So get rid of that space. Because, yeah, there's no... Yeah, I think we'll just leave it Satomi as our code name. Uh, and our real name will do Satomi in Hiragana. I think that's how other characters do it as well. Satomi... Yeah, that's... I think that's right. I think that's right. Doesn't matter. Looks good. And uh, continue. Alright. Hair? I think that's hairstyle? Let's find out. Yeah, hairstyle. Okay, good. I know very little, but I know <laughs> I know video game stuff when it comes to Japanese. Alright. Oh, there's so many options. We're barely even Oh, look how many options there are. Look at the the scroll. On the, the right, we're barely even halfway, and there's already ten. I think nine looks pretty good. We'll come back to that. So this is a problem with character customization. When there's not enough, you're like, oh, I wish there was more. But then when they give you so many options, you're like, oh, there's too many options. But uh, sometimes, um, some games are good about it. Very few that just let you change your character however you want. Like, uh, most recently, um, in uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, the one good thing about... Well, there's a few good things, but the one cool thing about Ghost Recon Wildlands is you could change your character however you want, whenever you want. The only thing you can't change from the start is uh, male or female, but you could change hair color, you could change skin color, you could change hairstyles, facial hair, tattoos, clothes, whatever you wanted, whenever you wanted. All you had to do was push the touchpad, which is really cool. And I wish games like this, you could just do that. A lot of times you have to go to like some beauty shop or whatever and pay money to change your character. But it'd be nice if you could just hit a button and do whatever. So if any, if people, oops, I forget we're playing the Japanese. We got a circle is confirmed and X is back. Which does make sense, you know, circle is open and the X is closed. But, so you should just press an X to confirm. But I should be used to it by now. I've been playing Japanese games all week. Or at least the past couple days. I kind of started the, the Golden Week a little late this year. Because I kind of forgot. So I think uh, we like this little side. I think that. It's either the left or the right. I think we want it on our left side. Yeah, I think that looks good. Gotta remember, we're gonna be seeing most of it from the back playing, but I guess in cutscenes we'll see it from the front, but I think I think the left side looks good. Alright, so we got uh, hair accessories. Oh man, so many options. I have never actually played a God Eater game, that should be said, I know there's a couple of them. Um, but I've seen them being played and I heard people talk about it and it's always seemed like something I'd, I'd like. But, um, I just never got into it because it sounded like there might be too much, and I never wanted to deal with the headache. Um, but since th they they did come out in uh, English, too, so I could probably play the English version and have a little more grasp on the situation and understand everything, but... Well, it's Golden Week, so I'm gonna play it in Japanese. Play in the Japanese version in Japanese. And test my hiragana reading skills. That actually goes with our outfit, not the Pikachu, but this actually goes with our outfit. But I don't, I don't, I think uh, we want the little uh, attachment. Alright, so we got face accessories, glasses. Whenever I see glasses now, um, ever since Bayonetta, I just think of Bayonetta every time I see glasses on a girl in a video game like this. Sunglasses looks pretty cool, but I don't think we're that badass, and I don't think we got any eye patches because it's our first God Eater, so we don't got any war scars or anything like that. 
But uh, I did notice that we can uh, press triangle to change color, so let's see. Let's uh, change uh, color here for our accessory. So there's, so there's so many options, and there's options on top of the options. Um, I guess black goes good with the red, but so does yellow. Um, but we'll, uh, we might change the hair color. I see a hair color option down there, so... Well, let's, uh, these earrings, that's what that says. Yeah. Style 2. Got the Google Glasses. Got the Hatsune Miku mic. Oops. What? Oh, the scars. I don't know. I, I use, I guess it depends on the character. But I don't typically use scars that much. I don't know, I guess it depends on the character and the class and what game I'm playing and what I want to do. Oh, that headband just reminds me of Nier. I covered up the eyes. Gotta pick up Nier. I don't know, think glasses? No, I don't think glasses. This outfit doesn't... it just it looks weird with glasses. Um, let's just do earrings. I think we'll go for a, a emo anime girl, I guess. I don't know. Or punk. I guess we'll go punk, not emo, just punk. Punk stylized. She's already got like the skunk skunk line in her hair. So we'll do the studs. We'll do both ears. Um, I think we'll do both ears black. Which is this option. <laughs> it sucks that you just have to press triangle. You can't go back and forth, but I think that's both ears. Alright, hair color. Um, usually uh, my Satomi characters have purple hair. And we want to mess around with this. Let's just, uh... Dark red. Yeah, we usually do, uh... Yeah, that's like the perfect purple. That's usually the purple we use for our characters. Kind of reminds me of our character we made in Sword Art Online. Oh, very long time ago. I still never finished that game because I wanted to finish the anime before I got any further into the game. White looks good. Oh god, this face options. So many options. Oh, and you can even have different options on top of the face options. So there's uh, different uh, facial expressions. Uh, I don't like skinny. Skinny looks weird. I like this uh, fatter cheek, let's say, for these characters. That looks pretty good. We might stick with that. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Hmm. Yeah. It's kind of weird, like you see the long faces, it just looks American. For whatever reason, the, the chubbier cheeks, I think more of anime. I don't know, it's, it's weird. Alright, I think we'll, maybe we'll just do a little casual smile like that. Hey, now that I think about it, um... The Sword Art Online game that I was talking about was... Re-Hollow Fragment? Or whatever, but I think anyway, th those are Bandai Namco games, aren't they? So maybe that's why this character customization looks a little similar, and why this character looks almost exactly like the character we made in Sword Art. Which uh, maybe I'll put that video at the end of this video, so you can click on that Sword Art playlist. I don't know if I uploaded too many of those games, because like I said, I, I stopped playing that in the middle. All these eye options are gonna drive me insane, because you have to smash triangle. There's no going back and forth. I think we just want regular eyes and maybe big like that. Um, yeah, I think just regular eyes, big, look good. So we'll keep that. And we'll keep it purple. We'll stay in with the, the anime trope of eyes being the same color as the hair. Oh, did not save the big ass, fine. If you were watching what? What was it? What were we playing? TOD Reloaded? Was that the one where we noticed, like... All the characters, all the female characters had the same eye color as they did hair. I think it was, T yeah, it had to be TOD Reloaded. Which, that was a cool little game. And it was a Vita game. I think during uh, that video, I was like, this would be a good little Vita game. TOD Reloaded is a Vita game. So you can play that on the go, because it looks like it. Like a Vita game. <laughs> I don't know, I think just a normal, 
white pale looks good. We don't need to give her a tan or anything like that. You can, uh, hit, if you hit triangle, you can use the left stick to just go uh, free choose the colors, but we're just using the slider. Right, so we got different voices. Now we don't want an old voice. We don't want a super young, cutesy voice. We want something in the middle. It's not too bad. Oh, there's not like a hundred voices. That's pretty good. That reminds me of something. It kind of reminds me of just like Pikachu, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what if it's like the same voice actors or something? It's not too bad, I guess. Uh, it's too young and cutesy. I think eight. Too old. Nine is a little good too. I think we'll go with eight. All right, so we got different. Oh my God, there's, there's you can even test all the different voices, different sayings. Oh my God. So you can really test out everything. If you're stressed, you're happy, excited, taking hits, taking damage, fighting, charging, specials. Oh my god, low HP, man. Oh, wow, look at all the options. They really... This is actually really cool that they give you all these options. So you can actually hear all the voice options. Jesus, like 100? 85? 86? That's pretty cool. So you can actually hear all the different uh, voice samples. Um, do we want to actually do that? Hit, hit. So I guess that's like the jump. So I think this is just random, right? So this is not feeling so good with low HP. Hit, hit. Jump in. So I mean, we're gonna hear these the most, huh? I think, I think number eight's a good choice. Alright, so that's our character creation, that's our character, Satomi, for uh, God Eater Resurrection. So uh, hit that subscribe button if you're brand new, hit that uh, one of those playlists to watch another video. I'm going to do some more God Eater videos, so that God Eater Resurrection playlist should be there, and you can click on that when the next video is uploaded, and you can watch part two. Um, but that's uh, this video for Golden Week 2017, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.